Okay, let's take a look at how to create a new project or video in Edpuzzle at edpuzzle.com. I think you're really going to like this. We're going to scoot through this pretty quick and just uh, feature some of the highlights of Edpuzzle um, and show you real quickly how to create a new video. Um, I'm logged in. This is my home page. You can log in as a teacher or a student and you can use your Google account or your Edmodo account to log in or you can just do a standard sign up with uh, email address. It's free for everybody. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new video. And you can see it gives you a lot of options over here on the left side where you can pull videos from. Um, YouTube videos, Khan Academy videos. Now I've got one that I know I want to use and I know the link. And so there it is. It's a YouTube video um, created by Khan Academy. So it's a Khan Academy video hosted on YouTube. So this is my work screen right here. And we're going to go step by step and it moves us through uh, very easily. It's pretty self-explanatory here how to do a lot of this stuff. Um, it's, it's simple. So the first step here, this is, gives us the ability to crop a video. This particular video from Khan Academy, you can see down here, it's nine minutes and 50 seconds long. Now I can preview it and it'll play the video for me. Presentation on adding and subtracting facts. There it is, okay. I don't want to use the whole video. There is a part of this video that I want to use. It's solving one, um, uh, one problem. The video is about adding and subtracting fractions, and there's one in there I want to use. And I already know, because I've watched the video, that it starts right at the two-minute mark. So I drag this red bar to the two-minute mark. Now this is my endpoint. It creates a new endpoint for the video. Now this red bar is my out point, so I grab it, and I know this equation ends at 2 minutes and 30 seconds right on the dot so now I've got a 30 second video over here because I've set my in I've set my out and I'm ready to preview it Ifs plus one fifth. and that's what we're doing I just want this equation where he's adding two-fifths plus one-fifth so I got my in point I got my out point I'm ready to move on so we're over here, we're going to save and move forward. So you can see we're off of cropping, and now we can add a audio track. <clears throat> now, as you know from Khan Academy videos, they provide their own audio track, and they do a very good job of explaining the equation. But perhaps I don't want to use that. Perhaps I want to use my own voice, and there's something specific that I really want to pull up, pull up and explain to my students. So if we choose to add an audio track it is going to overwrite the audio track that is already on the video and so we can do that by clicking this microphone over here and it's only 30 seconds long so let's give it a shot I need to allow my microphone and so there's the video it's playing and I just speak while it's going so we're adding uh, two-fifths plus one-fifth and that's going to equal, we're going to, we have common denominators, so we're going to move that over. And then we're going to add the 2 plus 1, and that's going to equal 3 fifths. 2 plus 1 equals 3 fifths, and look at that, we got it right. Okay, so there we are. We just recorded an audio track over top of the Khan Academy video, and we can preview that. So you hear me? There's my audio track. I like it. Let's save that and move on. So now this next section allows us to um, add audio notes. Okay, now this is different from the last one that added an audio track. An audio note is a message from you to your students that will play prior to the beginning. So when your students get to the video, they'll click play and they'll hear you just over the black screen, whatever it is you have to say to set up the video lesson. And then as soon as your audio note is over, it, it automatically progresses right into the video and then they can watch uh, the video that you, we just created with the Khan Academy video and our voice track over top of it. Okay, so this is a note, it sets it up. So let's record one. We, we want our note right here at the beginning. We can put it anywhere at the beginning, end, or somewhere in the middle. Um, I want one at the beginning. I want to set it up. So let's record one. Hi, students. This is a video about adding and subtracting fractions. Please take the 30 seconds required 
and go through this lesson. That was a terrible audio note, but we'll keep it. Um, so there it is. Got a new one right there up front, and let's take a look. Hi, students. This is a video about adding and subtracting fractions. Please take the 30 seconds required and go through this lesson. And then you see it goes right so into the lesson. Video. It's playing, and I just speak. Pretty cool. Um, and we can add one at the end if we wanted to, and we just click that, and we could go like this. Thank you for finishing this lesson. Please bring any questions you have to class tomorrow. And there it is. There's my audio note, one at the beginning, one at the end. I like it. Let's move on. So we progress to the next section, which is quizzes or adding questions throughout the video. Now this is cool because what's going to happen is the video is going to add timestamps and they're going to require the student to stop at that mark and answer a question that we'll create. Okay, so let's move, let's progress to about 10 seconds in. And at 10 seconds, uh, once the video catches up the preview, it, it's going to show the equation. So at 10 seconds in, I want to add a new question. So let's click on the question mark. There are three options available to me for question types. An open-ended question, a multiple choice question, and a comment section. Uh, math lends itself real well to multiple choice questions. So here I could, I could put the equation in that, that he's asking students to, uh, to complete, which is three-fifths plus one-fifth equals. I could do it like that. But Edpuzzle offers me a much better way for math. Uh, most of these look familiar up here, these options. But here's a uh, FX option that allows you to insert an equation. And this is cool. Math teachers are going to dig this. Look at all this stuff. I don't even know what most of this means, but you will. And it's got all these drop downs. And they're awesome. But I know I just want to add fractions. So it's going to give you some code up here. Now what you want to do is you want to add your fraction inside the brackets. Uh, the first bracket's the numerator, the second one's the denominator. So I know three-fifths, and it's going to allow you to preview it down here. So if you screw it up, you try that. Oh, well, look at that. That worked too. Um, but really, you want to put your numbers inside the brackets. You know, if I put a five over here, it's, it, it, that's not what I was looking for. Not for this question, at least. Okay, so I like the way that looks. Three-fifths. Now I'm going to come outside the bracket. I'm going to add plus. Now I want to add another fraction. Oop, look at that. Plus one fifth. Now back outside the brackets. Equals. And I like the way that looks. So I'm going to say OK. And there's my multiple choice question. Now I need to provide some multiple choice answers. Now actually, what's interesting is I didn't ask this correctly. The question is because my preview is not catching up to me right now. Um, it should really be, I think the question is two-fifths. So I can go back in and edit this. Two-fifths. Oh, that's what I want. Okay. Two-fifths plus one-fifth. Now down here, I'm going to create the right answer. And then I'm going to provide some wrong answers. And I can add as many as I want. I can add another answer. And we'll go with something different here. We'll play with this guy. Uh, and you see, I'd, I don't know. There we go. How about that? So there's our first question. We're done. It's going to allow us to preview it here. And there are video preview just caught up. So two-fifths plus one-fifth. That's, I got it right. And there's the answer. I like the way this looks. I'm going to continue. And, going to equal, and, we have the and it starts playing my video again. But you can see it added the mark in here. That's my first question. There it is. That's what it looks like. Now I can add another question. Equal, maybe here towards the end, maybe right before it finishes, 29 seconds in. And let's click the question mark. 
And there it is. Now let's add an open-ended question. Did you enjoy this lesson and why? That works for me. Not the greatest question, but it works for this purpose. So we log it, we continue, and thank you for finishing this lesson. There's my final note. Any questions you have to class tomorrow. All right. So I like it. I like everything that we've done. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to save the video and finish, and then we'll have an opportunity. We could preview it now, but I want to preview it. I'm happy with it. I know it's good. So here we are. We can add a title, give it a language, add some tags. Um, algebra, I don't know. There's a tag. You can add as many as you want. I'm going to save and exit. Now I can assign this to a class, and I've got two classes here. If I was a math teacher, I might have Algebra 1, Algebra 2, Trigonometry, Geometry, you know, whatever classes I teach. I'm going to add this to my demo class. Uh, I want to prevent skipping because I want students to have to answer those questions and not be able to scrub uh, past them. Uh, I'm not going to assign a due date right now, but you could. I will save that. And now it's going to come up to uh, my classes screen, and it's loading my assignments. And there they are. I have two of them. This is the one I just created, adding and subtracting fractions in this class. It, and I've got, here's my other class. There's my demo class. I've, got two of them in here and now we can preview this as if we were a student so let's take a look at that at what our final video looks like and we'll play it and you'll hear my voice do the setup then my voice go through the lesson we'll stop at the questions and you'll hear my uh, final audio note Hi students this is a video about adding and subtracting fractions please take the 30 seconds required and go through this lesson and so there's the video it's playing and I just speak while it's going so we're adding uh, two-fifths plus one-fifth and there it stopped at our first question it popped up and I know the answer because I looked ahead and cheated I'm going to submit that yeah I got it right once I continue my video will continue and that's going to equal, we're going to, we have common denominators, so we're going to move that over. And then we're going to add the 2 plus 1, and that's going to equal 3 fifths. 2 plus 1 equals 3 fifths, and look at that, we got it right. And it stopped at my, nec my next question that I added. Did you enjoy this lesson? Yep, and we're not going to say why. We're not going to be a very good student. Submit that. Continue. And here's my final Thank audio you note. For finishing this lesson, please bring any questions you have to class tomorrow. And that was it. We just previewed, we created and then previewed the entire lesson. And it looks good to me. Um, so I could come back up here in my classes. It, you know, we're good to go at this point. Um, students can access the video by this class code up here. Uh, what you would do is this class code doesn't change. This is mine. And so I would give that to my students and they would then be part of my demo class. If they were part of my Ed Puzzle class, here's a different code for them. So they would automatically get any assignments that I put into this class. All right. And uh, you can also come up here into my content and you can, you have a lot of options here. You can delete the video, you can duplicate it, you can share it. You can go back and work on it, too, if you don't like the, or if something has changed or you don't like something that you did. Um, but we could share the video. It's, you can embed it. Uh, now, we can send this URL out also. Now, the only thing with this is if somebody watches it through the URL or embedded on a site, if they're not logged in, they're not going to be able to answer the questions. It will stop at the questions, but they'll just have to hit continue. They'll have no ability to answer the questions. Um, so you may want to do that. No, but if this is for your students, uh, you'll certainly want them logged in. And it's free. It, and it works quite well, as you see. So take a look. It's edpuzzle at edpuzzle.com. Uh, play around a little bit, and I, I really think you'll like what you see there.